Welcome back to another video here on the Co-op with you channel. Today I'm cracking up with something a little bit different. This is Virginia's Distilleries Co's Cider Cast Finished Whiskey. This is a marriage of Scotch malt whiskey and American whiskey without an E finished in cider cast. So that means they're actually distilling from 100% malted barley. And yes, that is really interesting. And they're marrying it together with that Scotch whiskey. But also this is batch number eight. So let's crack it open and see what it tastes like. All right, what's going for a nose? Okay. So the first thing that really stands out, it really has like the apple kind of orchard, fresh like uh, apples and all that. But also I get like that little maltiness, a little bit of all that goodness. So you get like a typical scotch. But it's also not really like a like a cider itself. It kind of reminds me of like a like a champagne like that uh, that character that champagne has. I don't really know what I'm I'm picturing of that smell and everything, but when I smell it, I think champagne. But it has apple with it. But it's uh like champagne has like this certain smell. It has like that wine kind of malty kind of funkiness that a uh, wine typically has. But some got some like vanillas, caramels, uh, very light. Like a butterscotch kind of candy as well. Yeah, a very nice uh, light nose. I like it, but it's uh, very upfront with that sh uh, that apple and all that grape uh, orchard smell. Yeah, that's a very nice nose. I like this. Oh, yeah, I really like that cider. All right, let's go in for a taste. Ooh, coats the palate very nicely. Has like a like a butterscotch caramel, like a toffee caramel almost that really coats the palate. And it tastes almost like an apple juice, kind of like uh, like right up there in the front, and mellows out, and then turns into like this nice like malty uh, scotch kind of thing. Like when it hits the palate, it's like uh, it's all that apple and everything, and it turns into a scotch. Yeah, and it turns like this uh, slight hint of like cinnamon, maybe a little bit of like a little pepper in there as well, but it has like that nice uh, maltiness and uh, malt scotch and all that, all that kind of like, kind of vibe of scotch malt whiskey. But it really transitions from that cider to that like uh, scotch right there. Oh yeah, this is really good. Oh, I'm really wondering if uh, a lot of these flavors and a lot of these uh, experiences and where the palate is, is due to the cider cast finish. I'm pretty sure it's having some effect, but um, I wonder what they're blending in from uh, Scotch whiskey and what their stuff is before they actually finish it in a uh, cider cast barrel. Yeah, this is uh, very nice. I'm really enjoying this. Oh yeah, I'm going to have to pick up some more of this because this is something I'm going to have to let people try and experience for themselves. That proof really stands out as well. It's not really like in your face, but it does uh, have a little nice bump in the proof. Let's see what it is. Okay, so it's at 92 proof, which is a uh, pretty good proof though. Especially for uh, a scotch or like a, a single malt kind of malt uh, whiskey as well. Yeah, I really like what's going on in here. Now I'm going to have to find some more uh, cider cast finished whiskeys because that really has my interest now. Oh yeah, very interesting, very different guys. So thanks again for watching. Do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I'll see you guys next week. May the best day of your past, we'll see you in the future. Cheers guys.